And it looks like we might got of all the chrysalids. Let's say that. What you think and what you actually got are not necessarily the same thing. Right, let's just get rid of this one. Make sure our people are covering themselves properly. And then we'll end turn. As I thought, that was the last alien. Okay, we lost <coughs> lost the tank. Fairly high level XCOM operative because we lost 31 points. But we did save a lot of a lot of civilians. Three live aliens captured. Sarge Syke now becomes a captain. Backstabber now gets promoted. So you're still a colonel. You are now Sergeant Backstabber P. And you are now Captain Psych P plus. Sonic skill thirty five, that's pretty good. Twenty four still low. But then you're not getting any improvement. Twenty eight. Again, not as good. So that's why Psyche is one of our best. <coughs> Pardon him. And he's just going to keep on getting better. Now, what we do need to do is look at our manufacturing. Flying suits. Oh well, won't bother at the moment. We can't afford one anyway. Because we do need some more Illyrium. Okay, let's just double check. We're on the Sectoid Navigator. We've got a few of these down at the moment. Okay, there's nothing. I think getting the alien grenade out next, I think, would be a good choice. Because then we are going to be able to use it ourselves. Alien supply missions. Yep. Know about those. We'll get the alien grenade out of the way. It's uh, another useful piece of kit. Basically, a much more powerful version of our own grenades. Now, what do we have over here? What is it? What does a flying suit take? I think is it 15 Illyrium? Ah, 16 Illyrium. So we can't really do that, but what we can do is we can get a load of personal armor out of the way. Got enough for what five suits? Just means that we got a little bit of protection going on. It's about time that we improve there. We're also going to start to be able to train up psychics there, and what we also need is on top of the alien grenade. We could do with getting the hyperwave decoder. If we get this out of the way, then once it's built, we can scrap the large radar system and the small radar system. It'll give us back two spaces. So we can now use and equip the alien grenades. That gives us a more powerful explosive to work with during our missions. And we're a good way through. No, we don't want to manufacture because, of course, that takes Illyrium. And we've got the psychic facilities built, so that's good. And probably, if we build this, we might get another psychic facility at some point. Again, it's just as much psychic potential as we can chuck in. Now, do we have spare... Living quarters. We got enough living quarters for four more people. So we're gonna max it out. We might as well just make sure we got all the soldiers that we could possibly want. Now Watchtower has now completed the manufacturing of some more basic armor. So we'll make sure that we got stuff like some med kits around. It's just we're gonna try and bring this group back up to scratch uh, probably soldiers power suits no you can have personal armor and we're just going to start stripping off all our worst people and start equipping them 
with not so good armor because we don't want to waste really good armor on really awful people and these people are so bottom of the uh, curve at the moment I haven't even bothered to name them yes they haven't even got a generic name I care so little about them they, they don't have a generic name these are these are probably the most disposable troops these are only here just to make sure that I don't lose the base now the only question is is do I actually have somebody who isn't an awful psychic and got some kills you you get a name I have no idea. What we're going to call you, though, is your ex. You're the first of the watchtowers. And you're a sniper. You think you've probably earned that. Six kills. We shall watch with you with great interest. Okay, so. We're not going to build another revenge yet. We're still waiting on. Let's probably man now manufacture some uh, motion sensors. So our base is now all hooked up properly, so we won't have that issue with being disconnected. And that's going to get the motion scanners out of the way. Yes, yeah, a bit boring at the moment. Just jumping. And then we're going to switch back over to producing was it alien alloys. It's a fairly high value um, for time to reward, so it's worth producing. As you can see, we've got a massive amount of uh, workshop space available. haven't bothered to actually buy anybody else, because it's just not needed at the moment. Now, is there any countries... Uh, it doesn't look like there's a base. There's no massive spike, really. And we're kind of matching everything, finances... Income, expenditure, maintenance, yeah, our eight maintenance basically exceeds our expenditure. Hyperwave decoder, excellent. We can now start manufacturing that. So, let's just get alien foods and surgeries out of the way. This will just clear up some of the research space. I mean, soon it's going to be time to, to decrease the number of scientists that we got. That's going to be something like a harvester. Build facilities. Hyperwave decoder. And what we'll do is just double check, sell off excess equipment, and then we'll go name these soldiers. Oh, lots and lots of alien plasmas. Keep the blaster launchers and blaster bombs. Lots of alien grenades. We keep the mine probes. Get rid of a load of corpses. Keep those, keep those, keep those. Alien alloys. We don't actually need as many alien alloys as that. So that gives us a whole bunch to work with. So that's plenty of money for the time being. And we'll go try and shoot this place down. Whilst we're sending those off, we will see about, what was it? We need to equip, and I just, oh, I just researched something, and it was rather important, and I forgot what I was going to do. I know I've got to move across over some of the people. Oh, that was it, we had new recruits. So, we're on. 40, so that's the last one I can remember. X41 then. No, X41. Ah, uh, you're awful. X42. Another awful one, X43. See, I'd never care about bravery. If you're doing well, 
it doesn't matter how much bravery you've got. You can have 10 and it just won't matter. If you come up against psychics, bravery can help reduce the panic. But again, just being a better psychic. Where it really, bravery only really counts is if everything goes wrong. And if it's gone wrong to that degree that bravery is really going to matter, then you're in trouble anyway. So generally, I just completely and utterly ignore bravery. Throwing accuracy. Whoa. We need to act on this almost immediately. That is a landed craft. We need the Illyrium. So, oh, well, we need to do Gerard de Frey. De F de Frus. Uh, we can't take him. I'm a little bit dubious about taking him. We'll take Sergeant Blank. Um, what equipment? We'll give you power suit just to make sure that we've got the best equipment we can give you. Um, equipment. We probably want to start using alien grenades. Have everybody with alien grenades so we can drop the standard grenades. These aren't going to be needed anymore. A uh, couple more med kits because it's just useful. Mine probe. We'll just make sure we've got one on the ship at all times. But we're going to have to change all of this shortly anyway. Right, intercept. We've got the new crew. We've got everything. We can't wait. we just got to go in. Because if you wait too long, that ship could be off the ground and just lose the opportunity to capture. Right, we are good to go. The only thing I'm going to do is make sure my two psychics have got that in their hands. Yeah, pitch black. Well, there is the UFO. And the first thing we need to do is just kind of spread, spread out a bit. Now this, fortunately, is going to give us our best way of scanning the area. Very fast, very maneuverable. Floaters! Excellent. Floaters are generally weak psychics. So, psych can go in. And mind control. No, unfortunately he fails. So we'll have a go with Smokey. Now, Psych is getting very close. He needs five more movement points. And he'll reach that magical number, 75, giving him three attempts a turn. We'll send down Blank. And he will take some pot shots. And he stands, he's using a laser rifle. Not too far, so he stands a good chance of just getting rid of him. But I don't really want to expose anybody else. If it, he's n he could be a good psychic, probably not. Probably at least maybe average. We don't know, and that's one of the reasons why we've got all the additional training facilities because we're going to hopefully pick up a load of more information about who our best psychics are. But also we can then start training the good ones. Because at least when you start off, you often spend a lot of time just cycling through all the troops. Just just to get some basic idea of what their psychic defense is. Because you can train up your skill in combat. But it's just... Ooh, ouch. 